Lesson 2.6, solve problems using data. Use the favorite hot lunch bar graph for numbers one through two. Number one, how many more students chose pizza than chose grilled cheese? Let's circle our important numbers and keywords. How many more? How many more means to subtract. So we know we're gonna be subtracting in this problem and we have an important item, pizza and grilled cheese. Now let's go to our bar graph. Favorite hot lunch, the number of votes are on the side and the lunches are at the bottom. So we look for pizza. Pizza is between 10 and 12. It's right in the middle of 10 and 12. And we know the number that's in the middle of 10 and 12 is 11. So I'm going to put up 11 under pizza and grilled cheese, grilled cheese, the bar stops right at the two. So grilled cheese had two votes. So now we know we're subtracting. So the pizza minus the grilled cheese, 11 minus two equals nine. So nine more students chose pizza. Number two, how many students did not choose chicken patty? So we're looking for the students that did not choose chicken patty. So we have to count up the hot dog, the pizza, and grilled cheese. So we're not going to include chicken patty. So the hot dog, eight votes. Pizza had 11 votes. And grilled cheese had two votes. So to find all the students that did not choose chicken patty, we add them up. So eight plus 11, eight plus 11 plus two. We make sure we line the ones up with the ones and the tens with the tens. There was only one 10. So eight plus one is nine. Nine plus two is 11. We carry our one and one plus one is two. So twenty one students did not choose chicken patty. Twenty one students did not choose chicken patty. Number three. How many more students walk? then ride in a car to get to school. So let's find our important keywords. How many more? We know that means to subtract. So we have to find a student that walk, then ride in a car. So let's look at our bar graph. So let's find out how many students walk to school. We go to walk. The students that walk to school is between six and eight. The number that's between six and eight is seven. So walk, seven students walk to school. Now we have to find the kids that got to school by car. Four students, the bar stops at the four, so four students got to school by car. And we know how many more means to subtract. So we subtract seven minus four. That gives us three. Number four is the number of students who get to school by car and bus greater than or less than the number of students who got to school by walking and biking. So let's find our important numbers. So, so car and bus together 
and walking and biking are together. And we have to find out if it's greater than or less than. So let's begin. So we have to count, we have to find out how many students got to school by car and bus. Four students got to school by car because the bar stops at four. And by bus, 12 students got to school by bus. So car and bus means we would add the amount from the car and the bus. So that is four plus 12. Four plus 12, four plus two equals six. And we just bring the one down. So car and bus together were car and bus equals 16. So now let's find out about walking and biking. Walking had is between six and eight, that's seven. And bike is between th two and four, that equals three. So seven plus three, let's find out how many students biked, seven plus three equals 10. So walking, walk and bike was 10. So now is the number of students who get to school by car and bus greater than or less than? This is greater than car and bus is greater because 16 is a bigger number than 10. Number five. What if five more students respond that they get to school by biking? Would more students walk or ride a bike to school? So if we're going to circle what's important, if five more students respond that they get to school by bike, so bike has three. So if five more would make it after three, so three plus five, three plus five equals eight. So if we extend our bar graph to eight, Now biking is eight. Now, would more students walk or ride a bike? Biking is now eight and walking is seven. So more would ride a bike because eight is greater than seven. So more students would ride a bike. Number six, write a word problem that can be solved by using the November weather bar graph on page 122. So we have to write a word problem that can be solved using the bar graph on page 122. So let's see. Were there more cloudy and rainy days or snowy and sunny days? So would, were, so were there more, 
Let's go back to page 122. Cloudy and rainy. Cloudy and rainy. So it was cloudy and rainy and snowy and sunny. or snowy and sunny. Number one, how many fewer votes were for bench repair than full drive? So let's look for keywords. How many fewer? We know that means to subtract. So how many fewer votes were for bench repair than full drive? So let's find out how many was in bench repair. Bench repair had between two and four votes. The number that's between two and four is three. So bench repair, three votes, and full drive had 13 votes. Now we know how many fewer means to subtract. So we're going to subtract 13 minus 3. And that equals 10. 10 fewer. Number two, how many votes were there in all? How many votes were there in all? Let's look for any keywords. In all means to add everything. So we're going to add everything. So full drive had 13. The wall mural bar is right on the 10. So that's 10. Bench repair had three votes. And park pickup had six votes. So let's add these numbers together and see what do we get in all. So 13 plus 10 plus 3 plus 6. So we make sure our 1s and 10s are lined up. 3 plus 0 equals 3. 3 plus 3 equals 6. 6 plus 6 equals 12. We carry our 1. 1 plus 1 equals 2. 2 plus 1 equals 3. So how many votes were there in all? 32 votes. Number three, find the difference. Now we know the word difference means to subtract. So let's begin subtracting. Zero minus nine, we can't do that. We have to borrow from the tenth place. We take one away from the five. Now the five becomes a four. Now this zero becomes a 10. 10 minus nine equals one. It's no longer in the tens place. It's no longer 5 minus 8. It's 4 minus 8. And we can't do that. So now this 4 has to borrow from its neighbor. It takes 1 away from 6. 6 becomes 5. And this 4 now becomes a 14. Now 14 minus 8 equals 6. Now in the hundreds place, it's no longer 6 minus 1. It is 5 minus 1. 5 minus 1 
equals 4. Number 4. Grayson has 75 basketball cards. What is 75 rounded to the nearest 10? So our important number is 75, and we're rounding to the nearest 10. So 75, when we're rounding to the nearest 10, is between 70 and 80. 75 is right in the middle of 70 and 80. Since it's right in the middle, we round up to the bigger number. So 75 rounded to the nearest 10 becomes 80. Number five, Sue spent $18 on a shirt, $39 on a jacket, and $12 on a hat. How much did she spend? Hmm, let's find any important numbers and keywords. So she spent 18 on a shirt, 39 on a jacket, and 12 on a hat. We underline our question because it tells us what we need to do. How much did she spend? How much? lets us know we're adding. So let's start adding. 18 plus 39 plus 12. Now, 8 plus 9 is 17. 17 plus 2 is 19. We carry our 1 over to the tens place. 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 3 is 5, 5 plus 1 is 6. She spent $69. Number 6. There are 219 adults and 174 children at the ballet. How many people are at the ballet? We're going to circle our important numbers, 219 adults, 174 children. Now, our question, we underline it because it tells us what we need to find. We need to find how many people are at the ballet. And we know that how many means to add. So I put a plus sign on top of the word how many. So we're going to add 219 plus 174. We start with a ones place, 9 plus 4 equals 13. We carry our 1 over the tens place. 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 plus 7 is 9. We go over to the hundreds place, 2 plus 1. 2 plus 1 equals 3. How many people are at the ballet? 393 people. 